This is an introduction tutorial to getting started using Logic Driver. And for this first tutorial, we'll do something really simple and just change the color of this cube using a state machine. Now the actor itself has only had a couple of modifications to it already. Uh, the construction script creates a dynamic material instance and then set color will set the actual color of the instance. Uh, beyond that, there are no additional changes. To get started, right click on the content browser Go to Blueprints and select State Machine. And we will call this Cube Color Changer. Open them up and you will see an empty State Machine graph. This entry point is where the State Machine will initially start. So just drag out from here and let's add a state. And let's just call it green because that's what we're going to change it to first. Open up the state. You'll see three entry points. On state begin is when the state is first entered. On state update occurs every tick. And on state end is when the state exits. Uh, we only worry about on state begin right now. And we will start by grabbing the context for which our state machine is running. This is what gets passed in during runtime and is similar to try get pawn owner of animation state machines. So let's cast this to our actor. Wire him up and set color and we will set the color to green all right there we go okay let's add one more state in so from green just drag out and add another state let's call this one red and before we set right up let's go ahead and actually give this a transition a transition is effectively a rule that says if it passes let's switch states and if it fails we'll stay in our current state and what we can do is give it any sort of conditional logic we want, but let's go off of how long it's been in the current state. So in this case, green. And let's just say two seconds. Wire it up. And notice how the state has actually turned green and this one has turned red. What that means for logic driver is a green state means that there is logic in the state and there's an outgoing transition. A red colored state means it is an end state that there is no outgoing transitions and the state machine will effectively end when it hits this point. Now let's wire up the red state. And to do that, we'll just go ahead and copy this for now and then change the color. Now a more efficient way of doing this would be to create a member variable that would store the cube character. And then under the event graph, when the state machine starts, we just go ahead and cast a context here and store that. Uh, that will save you constantly doing cast calls and be a little bit more efficient. Now that our state machine is set up, let's go ahead and assign it to our actor. And there's a couple of ways we can go about this. The easiest one is to add it an actor component, a state machine component. And then what we can do here is just give it the class that we want. Uh, so in this case, we did the cube color changer. And we set that. And so now this will be the state machine we want to use. I initialize on begin play is check we want that and then start on begin play let's just do that and get it going if we press play green red let's cover a different way of adding a state machine instead of using just the actor component let's go ahead and remove that and instead we're going to manually give it one so we can assign a state machine variable and it needs to be a state machine instance. And this is basically the object version of it. It will work anywhere, not just in an actor. Uh, it does not support replication though. And it's a little bit more manual in having to use it. And so if we go into event begin play, let's go in and actually set this up. So what we want to do is look for the static function create state machine instance. And then we need to manually tell it what class we want, which will be the color picker. And then the context is what gets passed into it. And we already know what that has to be. It has to be this object itself. So we'll just assign it a self-reference, pass that in. This will create it. And now what we need to do is assign it to our member variable. It's important to do this step. Um, if you just create this by itself, then it's not going to get managed properly in Unreal. And it could be garbage collected at any time. Setting it to a member variable means it won't be. So we have it here. Let's go ahead and drag this guy out. And let's start it. Now this is what was happening automatically for you in the actor component, and here we're doing it manually. The last thing I want to cover is adding another transition uh, from red back to green. 
So if we go into there, we'll do the uh, same thing we did last time, time and state. And we'll just do one second. You'll notice that both states are now colored green. Uh, that means there is no longer an end state. The state machine will loop forever. And for us, that's fine. So let's see it happen. Green, red, green, red. And there you go. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.